Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome, welcome to Intuitive Evolution. My name is Vanessa Kadornu and I am a psychic for over 25 years at this time, professional psychic, a hypnotherapist, a priestess, an intuitive business coach, and a Reiki master healer and energy healer. So many things, so many studies, but this is my focus to really support you to break through your fears, connect to that incredible power of your intuition, to that incredible connection that you have to the divine, to the sacred, and to allow your own intuition to flourish so you can thrive in your life and in your sacred work and your sacred calling. Now, I'm on today to say hello, but also to share that I have a program coming up that I love. So I did, so I am fourth generation medium in my family, there's four generations, my mom, my grandmother, the other grandmother on the other side. But I've come from South America where often we keep these things quiet and it's not just South America. There's a lot of like fear and shame or intuition or spiritual gifts, right? And so I'm the first generation that really has come up. Hey, Hal, how are you? I'm really the first generation that has stepped out to speak out about spiritual gifts. And so I spent over 20 years in New York City as a professional tarot reader and intuitive and healer and then went online. And as I was in the online space, hi JC, Harof, how are you? Hey Hal. As I went on the online space, oh I have a little itch. I connected to something that I felt really took me to another place and that was the Akashic Records. Now, all of us are intuitive, all of us have Akashic Records. The Akashic Records are basically the Akasha, the energy that is around all of us. We can connect to it through our higher self, which is the wisest, deepest, most eternal part of each and every human being, and yes, we all have it. And so this part of us, when we learn to access it, can support us in um, releasing karma, releasing patterns that we have either from present lives or even patterns from past lives. Um, you've, I've had so many clients who don't believe, you know, they're very like, I don't believe in any of that. Just do hypnosis on me, snap your fingers and allow me to not be afraid of speaking in public or allow me not to, um, you know, freak out when I have to do this or I have to do that. And we go into hypnosis and it's incredible because I don't guide them into the past life. But when I ask, let us go to the core, let us go to the incident, to the core of where this fear or this uh, fear of success, fear of public speaking, fear of visibility, fear of love, fear of intimacy, whatever the fear, whatever we can go in there and uncover. And as I ask this, boom, this person went into a past life. So I'm not here to argue about whether it exists or not, but really to say that it's a modality, that it's a technique. And often these archetypal stories, these experiences can help us unpack, unravel our own energetic patterns that are keeping us stuck. And so after 20 some odd years as a hypnotherapist and as a tarot reader and healer, I decided to get training in the Akashic Records. And the training in the Akashic Records was much more than what I expected, and that's why I became a teacher for it. It, through the soul journeys method what it does because it's two full days of workshop is that it's a space for you to receive healing so here I am as a tarot reader as a healer and for a lot of us who are conscious entrepreneurs or conscious people who are helping the world in one way or another through activism or education or the arts we know how to support other people but a lot of times we do not permit ourselves to be supported. A lot of times we do not allow ourselves to receive the support or the help that we need as we're undergoing changes. And sometimes we stay stuck a little longer than maybe we even need to because we won't get that help. So during that two day training, I was able to uncover and unpack so much of my fears of visibility because here I was, I was a healer, you know, hypnotherapist, intuitive. I was working, I had my own business, I was supporting people in my community, but I was afraid to go bigger. I was afraid to get on um, Facebook or Instagram. I just didn't want to do video at all. And part of it was from a past life fears. And so when we start to uncover and give ourselves this time it can really help us now the akashic record training is coming up it's going to be march 2nd and 9th and what we'll do is each and every person who's on the course will learn to connect to their akashic records we'll learn about the akashic record keepers and then we'll unpack them and unfold them 
or unpack the information to be able to use it in a practical way. Because sometimes we go to workshops and things and we come home and we're like, oh, I don't know what I learned. Well, that's not what's going to happen here. In this two-day workshop, we're going to connect in such a way that you're going to walk away and go, wow, I do know what I'm doing. And if I have any questions, I could always reach out to Vanessa. So the goal of this course is not only to help you connect your intuition and to break through your fears, but also to hold space. Hey, Earthy Mommy, how are you? Miss you, happy new year. To help you really figure out how to unpack your own stuff in the Akashic Records. So we'll learn how to go in, we'll learn um, the different gifts that exist in the Akashic Records for you, and then you'll learn your own system, your own process. Love you, love you, I'm gonna see you soon. I'm gonna sign up for something. Miss you, definitely, totally, love you so much. Yeah, yeah. And um, so in the Akashic Record Training, what we're going to unpack is not only a process, a system where we could go in, but a way that we can also hold space for our own healing, understand it in a better way, and be able to just go in and commune with our own higher selves and our, and our guides and unpack it. I love doing readings. I love doing sessions for people. I've been doing this for almost 30 years. The thing is, though, what I love the most is helping people connect to their own power, connect to their own guides, and figure it all out, or, you know, as much as we can all figure out, right? Because we're always in the process and we're always learning in this great mystery. So you can do that at home. You can do it for yourself, and you don't have to wait always to get an appointment with people. Now, of course, I'm not putting down getting a great session. I have healers as well. But the thing is, when we're empowered this way, we're also healing a lot of our ancestral stuff. We're also healing a lot of our past life stuff, because since we're all born with this divine connection, since we all have this ability to connect to our higher self, to our guides and our angels, and throughout history, we've been like systematically disconnected. I feel like when we step in and really empower ourselves by getting some training, and it doesn't have to be Akashic Records, it could be tarot, like with Earth Mommy, she teaches that here in Central Pennsylvania, or crystal healing, or, or something that allows us to reconnect to what is. It's really powerful stuff. So if you've been watching and you're interested in learning more about learning the Akashic Records, reach out to me. I have a class March 2nd and March 9th that's happening online. And just remember as you're navigating healers and working with people that it would also perhaps be a really wonderful idea to get some really solid processes for yourself, some solid techniques that will help you create a foundation so you can actually go in and connect to your own guides, your own angels, your own ancestors, and support your own healing and ask for help and receive it. I think it's so powerful when we can go in wherever we are, however we are, and just receive the support that we need. And we all have it. It's within us. So sending you so much love. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Earth, Mo Earthy Mommy and JC Hera. And if you have any questions, reach out, PM me. And sending you all so much love. It is Moon in Pisces today, so a great time to connect to your intuition, to allow the flow, and to allow ourselves to just be, right? When we just quiet down for a moment. And kind of allow ourselves to be so much can get cleared and so much can get connected so sending you love bye oops <laughs>